in this log we are going to navigate in between two flutter applications yes you might be aware of navigation between two different screens in flutter application but now in this part of the tutorial we are going to navigate from one flutter application to another flutter application and let's try to see how this particular implementation is possible in flutter app <music> So in general, the navigation in between the apps are not possible due to the security concerns but with the help of deep linking we can make this possible. So if you are having a question what is deep linking then this is a playlist for you and I suggest you to go through this particular playlist before getting started with this particular tutorial so that you will get a good knowledge on how a deep link is being implemented in flutter applications with the help of this particular deep linking concept we are going to implement the navigation from one app to the another app in this part of the tutorial so i suggest you to watch this tutorial till the end and the code for this tutorial i will be providing in the description section below so let's get started with this particular tutorial so quickly the first thing what i want to do is i want to add the dependency url launcher so with the help of this particular url launcher in our previous tutorial so this is the tutorial on url launcher and here it might be helpful for you to know the various scenarios where we can make use of url launcher here and now in this part of the tutorial we will try to make use of this same dependency and try to navigate in between the apps so the best way to add the dependency here is like flutter pop add and here you need to specify the dependency and if you try to add dependency through the terminal then flutter will take care of the current version of the dependency and try to add it to your pubspec.yaml file here so now let's try to check it whether the file is added or not so here you can see our dependency url launcher 6.2.5 version is now added to our project and in this way you can safely add the dependencies to your flutter application and also you can add manually by visiting the url launcher library page so as we start from the step one for every tutorial so this part of the tutorial also we are starting the same way so void main here and now let's try to create a stateless widget so here we are making use of a stateless widget only and we don't require a stateful widget because just we are trying to navigate from one app to another app so we require a button click over here so now let's try to create my app here and stateless widget my app and now here instead of the const placeholder we can return a material app so for those who are familiar with these particular steps you can just skip to the main part of the tutorial and here in the material app we are going to specify scaffold here and scaffold will form the basic skeleton for our application and here inside the scaffold we can specify the app bar here and in the app bar we can specify the text to be and here this is a first app so i'm specifying the title as well to be first app just for a clarity for you to understand and here you can also make this a constant here so add constant modifier just to avoid the warning message and here and within the scaffold and within the scaffold after the app bar we also have body here so let's try to add a body here and i am going to consider elevated button here and this elevated button will have on pressed here and also so now we need to specify a label for our button so here let's make use of child and specify a text widget for this purpose and here i'm going to uh, write a label like navigate to second app okay here we go so the title is like navigate to second app here and in on press what needs to be done so here we need to specify the code using which we can navigate to the next application so now let's try creating this particular method so void and 
as there is no return type we are specifying void here launch second app and you can again specify the title according to your requirement and you can also specify the app name and the best example what i can say here is like you might be familiar with facebook and facebook app is there and messenger app is also separately available so you can directly move from facebook app to facebook messenger app previously it was the implementation in that way and one thing to make sure is uh, this particular launch second app function is of type asynchronous here because we need to move to another application so it takes some time to make this flow happen so here let us try to declare a string url here so url we are going to declare here and the url here i'm going to specify like amplify api and the launch so what is this amplify api and launch so here the amplify api here we are specifying the schema here using which we will detect the another application and try to move there so that's the launch here and again the launch is the host component and we will try to discuss more on it when we try to add the configuration in the manifest file so the first thing is if await so we need to wait till can launch url so this is the method we get from a dependency which we have added like url launcher at the initial part of this tutorial so here you need to specify the url which we have specified above url and here you need to parse it over here uri dot parse and the url which we have specified above so here directly we can specify string to this particular method so we are passing it with the help of uri here with the help of uri here and now if this condition is true else this particular block will be executed so if this particular block is true then we need to specify await launch url and here you need to specify again the same uri dot parse and specify the url here so we are testing in the first step here in the if condition we are verifying whether can launch url and it if it can launch then we are going to implement just to make sure we avoid any error in runtime okay and else else what can we do so you might have a question like if the application is not available on the device so here one thing you need to take care here with this particular tutorial is we are going to create two applications and we are going to navigate from one application to another application and for example the second application is not installed on your device and you are trying to open the second application then in this particular scenario you need to implement the way to navigate to play store and for this part of the tutorial as it may take a long time so i am only restricting myself with this particular launch url scenario itself because moving from one screen to another and not downloading from play store and installing it